This is a Big Facts Network exclusive. Live from the Culture Lab, you know what it is. It's time for that Big Facts. Big Bank is here. Baby Jade is here. DJ Scream, I'm right here. And we welcome in today Memphis, Tennessee's own Big 30, Big 30, Big 30 pulled up on yeah. us. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, 30? How you feeling? How you feeling? You good? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Everything good? All right. Yep, yep, yep. What's up? So what kind of moves you in today, my brother? Like, what's on what's on your mind? I'm good. I'm just rolling this album out, you know, chilling. Yeah. Still you know, King, good. right? Yeah, Still King. Let's talk about that title, Still King. Like, break it down for the people. I Man, you know, pretty much like self-explanatory. Like, I'm just letting them know like a nigga still that. You know, I'm still King. I'm, I'll never get it twisted. No, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? A nigga had, took a little break, but you know mm. what I'm saying? I'm still that, though. Mm. But when you say take a little break, like sometimes people, I guess, don't understand that, you know, even as an artist, you got life going on. So is that yeah. break because of life or? It was because of life. 100% because yeah. of life. Yeah. So with that, with that being said, and with May being like Mental Health Awareness Month, how important was it for you to take that break? And was it just like one thing that made you feel like, man, I just got to fall back from that shit and get myself in a right headspace? Or was it like, a combination of things that you were going through at the time. Shit, it was a combination of shit. And it was plenty of shit. I was going through a lot of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Homeboy dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about 20 motherfuckers in jail on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, then I got a, you know what I'm saying? I got three kids. I got to be a, be a father right, to my right. kid. Like, real dead. Like, be a father instead of just provide, instead of just sending money. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. I got to be there physically take them places, you know what I'm saying? And just being a person, you know what I'm saying? Right. Being myself outside of Big 30. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Get all that together. Sit back in my mind. Like, yeah. Really? Real shit. How hard it is to like juggle like street shit and rap shit at the same time when you trying to do that. Shit. That shit hard. You gotta, you really gotta pick one really. Like, that shit hard. You really can't do both. I don't know. They, they, they're doing both and ain't, ain't locked up. Shit. That shit really hard. You got to pick what you want to do. You want to be a street nigga or a rap nigga, shit. How hard is it to like have your same partners like trying to do some legit shit when, when they like, you know, they don't get paid off of too tough off what you do, you know yeah. what I'm saying, off your grind. So how hard is it like balance your partners that, you know, from the, still in the streets from the ones that, you know, trying to do business? Shit, this shit hard because some of your partners ain't gonna see the bigger picture or not gonna believe that it can happen for them or it can happen or the plan can happen and shit. Some of your niggas just, it's, it's too street like time and place for everybody. Yeah, pick they side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they come to where they at. They, yeah. They straight. And them just my niggas I deal with them time when I go to the city. I got me a little crew that be on the road with me, you know. Mm -hmm. They know how to roll, go. They've been on the road me since I first got on the road. And they know how to move. Yeah, and they know how to move. Get me up, make sure I'm straight. Right. Yeah. So during that during that time, like in between, like just taking some time down to get yourself right in life, like what's some changes you might have made for the better? Like just I don't know if it was eliminating people, eating different, you know, laying off of advice or whatever the case is. What's some stuff you think thirty done did to mind eliminate people around me? She switched it up. I moved, you know what I'm saying? I moved away from the city. You know what I'm saying? Switch my, you know, switch my cars up. Just, just switched everything up. Really. I ain't shit to sign no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. removing yourself out of Memphis, how important do you think that was to your success and your survival, basically? Shit, that was very important. You know what I'm saying? For any of this shit to work, I gotta be breathing. Shit, I gotta. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay yeah, alive. Shit. I gotta be. I gotta be out here. Right. Shit. And no, nigga, I got time for it. This, this shit kill my mama. I ain't need anything but about me. I just know how bad this shit affect my mama. She more proud of me. That's hard because most niggas don't even think that far, like yeah. about like what it'll do to their family, like yeah. if something happened to them type shit. So, so I'd be worried about for real though. Mm -hmm. Cause my mama always tell us she want her kids to bear us. She don't want to bear none of her kids. Right. Mm. So I read everything I do for them. Shit. Since you think, I got my high school diploma for my mom. Do you think? Do you believe like the shit that come out your mouth come to you? 
Oh, like, you even like, you know, like in music, oh, yeah, like what you put out in the world, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah, the type of shit that you say, like the tongue powerful, I believe yeah. that for sure. Yeah. So, so what's some shit you do, like, like, the, you know, the, like, you know, I know it, it kind of hard to just jump in this shit and just, you know what I'm saying, be enlightened, trying to be an enlightened rapper, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that shit kind of hard to do. So, what's some shit you gonna do, like, to push push your boundaries, like, to put you, them to take you to that level, like, the way that you talking about the transition instead of talking about what's actually going on yeah. and what niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel exactly what you're talking about. Shit. Man, I don't know, I just feel like I'm, that's where I'm comfortable with rapping. That's how I came in rapping like that. Like, Maybe I might, it might get to a day where I want to rap about something different, you know what I'm saying? Right like, now, you like, know right you. now, this what working shit, this what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk, yeah. One day, I might- look like, like trying to do something else. This shit I read. This what's going on, so. But how you rebuke it, though? Like, when you go in the booth, do you say certain shit? Like, I'm doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? You know you put this shit out there first, too, yeah. and after. Yeah. Like, I'm just going in the booth, speaking on what I know, what I heard, what I seen, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no way in shape form of put how do you push that narrative as if this was going on, this what I'm doing, this what I'm comfortable with, this music gonna come with doing, but this shit music. I mean shit. I try to push that narrative a lot. I let people know, like, don't get when people when he asked me about a lot of shit, like the rapper, rappers and shit, rap beef and shit. all that shit in the time and competition to a nigga, like, only I hate this shit. Like what you asked me about, I hate like how what we can say in the book and it figure out real life. Mm -hmm. I don't like this shit. Like I wish I can like use my power of voice to do something about this shit. Yeah. Real talk. So how 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 do we take it though? Like, cause it's 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 an all time high now for like this rap beef and diss records. It seems like every day we wake up, somebody at somebody, right? But how do you take that if somebody decide they want to get at thirty or something like that? Like, how do you take it? Yeah, but not a rap. I ain't gonna lie. They come at me. For real though. I'm, I'm foul. I'm talk crazy to a nigga. Well, I'm making fun though. We gonna, yeah. gonna sell music if a nigga yeah, that come yeah, at yeah. me like that. You know what I'm saying? What'll make you take it personally? God ah, damn, what the hell they doing? <laughs> yeah, fell Do that. Man. Hey, what I've been saying. Um, damn, what I say? So, what would make you take it personally? Yeah, what would make you take it personally? Like, you think a nigga you know? Or make you take it personal or just like, like if a nigga diss you, you know. Yeah, that probably made me take it personal. If a nigga diss me, like you know what's up, me, you playing with me, or you pushing a narrative that you know ain't true to get you a certain look or something. Yeah. I might get mad at some shit like that, but if I was another rapper dissing me, like this is what we do, like we at work. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't yeah, tripping that on that. Like, like you can't take them serious, cause you don't even know. Especially a like nigga I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't even wanna say no name, but like, but on the internet, they just scream and stuff out all the way over here where we at now. Like, I wouldn't dare take that funny. Yeah. I wouldn't dare take this here. I'd yeah. laugh at that. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But a nigga saying some personal shit like from the town or nigga you know or even nigga if you know you me. Like, oh, yeah, a nigga I know, I'm gonna say, even if the rapper nigga was saying some personal shit, I still wouldn't let it get to me. Yeah, yeah. I know he just going off his research or what he heard for real. Like, yeah. he don't really know no nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for like a rapper that maybe come from the streets and that's talented trying to get in the game, it take money to do that shit, right? Mm -hmm. So how much like blind figure, like how much money you say you got to have to think about having a rap career if you got to self fund it? Shit. I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't just say it's a certain amount, but you got to get some money going for sure. Like I ain't just going to tell them nigga, oh, you got to have 50,000, 100,000 mm -hmm. to rap. like. You just gotta have some money coming in and you know, manage it how you gonna manage it. Like, okay, I'm gonna say this up and use this for the studio, or mm. I'm gonna say this and go pay this nigga here for a feature, or you mm. know what I'm saying? Book myself, you know what I'm mean? mm. Like, then I ain't just gonna, you know, you gotta grind with everything you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cry before you walk. So I wouldn't even just tell nobody, ah, oh, you need 100,000 because you're gonna right. need to pay him 20 for a feature, him 20, for, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You would just t be telling a nigga how to spend their money at that point. What if somebody on the block, though, and they say, it's, I got a dime. That's all I got is ten thousand. But I know I'm fine. I believe in myself. I believe I can do this shit. 
What that should I do? That still has something going on too. You can't just have that dying and yeah. dying going on. Nah, for sure. I can't. Then in about two weeks, you just gonna be a nigga that was zero dollars. Yeah. They, they got they still by hell. They still yeah. not around. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I wouldn't yeah. even bother my ten though. I just yeah. be rapping. Yeah, yeah. Getting yeah, the studio yeah. time rapping though. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How important you think it is to like, you know, put that shit on? Cause you be putting that shit on, have the pieces and shit. How important you think that is to have that shit and you know, dress like that to be a rapper? I mean, that is very important though. I, I say, I say to be yourself. I, I don't try to keep up with no trends and shit. Like when, when the clothes trends change, how everybody try to put on what they see in this motherfucker change. Just, I just be myself with them company, you know what I'm saying? But I know they really play a part though, because they can get you, you different gotta bags. Like you got to you know pop it and shit, yeah. Yeah, you got to pop it. Get you different type of endorsements and shit, you know what I'm saying? Fashion model deals and shit. So. <clears throat> When it comes to like the pressure and the stress of like actually being an artist, having to rap, having to come up with different shit, having to watch your back when you're on the road and you know what I'm saying, all the rest of the shit that comes along with that life. What are some things that you like to do outside of that life to kind of take a load off? Like, um, like for fun or like for stress relief or, you know, anything other than rapping to like clear your head and fucking let you take a deep breath type shit. Um, that have to be, if it ain't, if it ain't like just watching my kid play like at home, and mm -hmm. smoking me a couple of blunts or whatever, it have to be kicking shit with my dad or riding around fire talking to my dad cause he be, you know. They you got a close like, relationship with him? Yeah, I have okay. a close relationship with my dad, just chopping it with him about whatever. It can be any topic really for dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's real talk. How often you get yeah. to holler at uh, Shasty? Who Shasty? You said how often? How, how often, yeah. Like. Shit, really every chance I get. Shit, every chance I get, I can talk to him. He around the phone. He for sure gonna call me and okay. check on me. He in for good sure. spirits? Yeah, he in high spirit. He for yeah. sure. They tricked you to order Ferrari truck. Oh, yeah? For real. Yeah. From jail. Damn. Okay. <laughs> That's hard. Good <laughs> time. Hey, y all, the, the, did y'all start rapping together? Yeah, we start rapping right at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Y'all from neighbor, same neighborhood, family with y'all family with? I'm like, <clears throat> our neighborhood ain't that far apart, but I keep it in his neighborhood plenty of summers. And I went to school in South Memphis. He from South Memphis. Okay. And you know, we got older. As we niggas start driving, he start coming to my hood. You know what I'm saying? We just kicking it. We just, me and him just stayed click tight. Uh-huh. He when the nigga left the hood, go home to the big house, he come with a nigga. Or oh, I can go with him. To, you know what I'm saying? My bro. How important you think it is for like niggas to try to like keep they niggas separate? Like you say, for instance, you, you go in his hood, fuck with him, and he come in your hood, fuck with you. Uh, how important you, you think it is not for you to bring your niggas to his hood and these niggas trying to integrate niggas? It's, it's very important, but you just gotta know, you gotta know what homies you can bring to his hood. Cause like, just cause I'm your nigga don't mean, he, I'm his nigga or just yeah. he exactly. my nigga don't mean he your yeah, nigga. Real like, shit. Mm -hmm. exactly. He might be fooled to him when I tell yeah. my exactly. back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, real shit. A nigga know, I know like who to bring around. I done had that problem trying to mix everybody together. It ain't gonna never work. That shit ain't gonna, ain't gonna never, never work. work. It's gonna be never. some argument about gambling. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a nigga motherfucker cheating. Too many egos, too, too many. many. Yeah, you know too much shit. He too tough. Too many nigga popping their shit. Yeah. And then it's gonna be some too many nigga popping their shit. It's gonna turn some more shit and. And Some shit don't nobody know about but these two niggas. Nah, and it, it be like this. Balloon. Niggas go to sin. Niggas can like niggas can peep the weak niggas out the hood no matter what. Yeah. So we bringing all these wolves together, then everybody sniffing and see, oh, he a hoe. Mm -hmm. it, it yeah. Just off his perspective or how he talk or how he act or how he gamble, the shit he talk while yeah. he gambling. Just any little thing can change a nigga to be like, I'm gonna end up whipping his ass. Yeah. That's just how shit go. <laughs> man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it shit oh, be God. that simple, bro. Oh, God. Because everybody tough, you either tough or a hoe. Like he just said it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just do it. That just be the episode of the night. Yep. Nigga just pick a motherfucker and go mm -hmm. up on. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep that shit apart. If I come over here and fuck with you, bro, I'm coming over here to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. I What's up to these niggas? But I ain't trying to be giddy nigga my number and now me and him hanging out without you. And no, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that shit don't go like. But that. you got niggas that asking to do that, like niggas that be groupies and fans. The nigga, like uh, you been to brought him around the nigga one time, 
he feel like he see my homeboy out and just get to running with him, which my homeboy might think, ah, uh, this third buddy. But his buddies might feel like, who is buddy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and he fool. He's over yeah, with. Yeah, he is shit. Yeah. He's over <laughs> with. Like, you probably can't scroll with a nigga, but you never know what a nigga on to ride. I mean, that's dick riding. Right. That's, that's dick. That's what I'm saying. That's dick right now. But it really ain't. Some niggas wrong. be trying to be cool, bro. Niggas ain't even really dick right now. And he then where it. I come from, they got to get in where they fit in for real. Yep. Huh. Nigga know Mike, nigga know you, and I see you outside the club. I don't matter where I know you from. Like, you just easily skipping through them motherfuckers. I'm finna get up with you. Yeah. I'm just oh, saying, like, I really ain't dick right now. That's, that's, that's another way to look at it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And nigga yeah. feel like I'm finna got there. I'm finna, I fuck with you. Yeah. But you don't never know what the next nigga on. You know what I'm saying? That's And I could be cool. Bank could be cool. But goddamn, scream might not be cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, then shit, I can't, then nigga, I gotta look at it like, damn, scream, why you so extra friendly? Or, or why, buddy, why you trying to be so extra friendly to these niggas, bro? You don't even know these niggas. And you that's what I'm saying. You inheritance, so you don't know what they got going on. So that's what I mean by the dick riding part. Like, you willing to, <laughs> you don't know him and you willing to g- jump into whatever he might have going on day one. That's but just, that ain't nah, what, nah, that dude, ain't what they talking like, about though. I don't think. What you mean? Like, 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 like they talking about like on some surface level shit. Yeah. Like I get what they're saying, but I also get what you're saying, but right. y'all are saying two different shit. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah. Maybe I misunderstood it a little bit. Yeah, nah, yeah. What I'm saying is just don't try to mix all these niggas. Cause you don't know what nigga fucking what hoe and all this exactly. shit. You don't never mm-hmm. know what these hoe fucking everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just keeping it real. Nah. He don't fucking your ops, everybody, your cousin, everybody. Yeah, friend. <laughs> Everybody, uh, so so <laughs> now, now it's like she might got a baby by a nigga over here, but got a baby by my cousin. My cousin don't really be around her, but I know you got a baby by my cousin, so I don't like you for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and then when they start <laughs> gambling and a and a, and a nigga get into it about y'all niggas ain't really like that really about here. this bitch. Oh God, yeah, nigga go keep day, it. Like he's nice he's looking at a nigga all the time. Nigga lose, nigga lose, nigga losing money. Nigga gonna go talk. Man, he's nice ass nigga. Yup, trying to. It just take one nigga. Who? Yeah, it's over with. <laughs> who? What you mean? Who? A nigga not finna, ain't finna, not finna say Back you. Down. You. No, I ain't nigga gone. Look, <laughs> that what it is. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, that's a message to niggas, man. In crews and shit. Every time I tried to mix crowds up, it went like, every time I tried to mix different crowds or what is bringing my niggas from the hood around my business. Like, yeah. To the studio, right, right, right. Or what is bringing just my nigga from this side to this side? So it I'm never worked. It ain't. Nah, I mean it. It'll look good in the beginning, and it might work at first. But, this, but, but this eventually, so that shit is gonna either blow up or fall apart. Yeah. It really just depends on what group of nigga though, because I can go pick up my homeboy from this hood that know how to shoot ball, go pick him up that know how to shoot ball, and then him from out here, and they can come together. We go gambling on the court. Now, them type of crew, they gonna get along all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah. They, 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 they got a mission. Yeah. yeah. They got a mission. It, it's, yeah. it's a mission to take. I'm talking about just niggas being niggas all for nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> That's gonna yeah. turn into something. On my life. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's more peaceful when you kind of just mob along, when you get a chance to just be on your own shit? I mean, believe it or not, this how I be. Shit, it, like, what you see now, shit. My nigga know, like, we done got to the point, like, now it ain't it ain't fascinating to us no more. And they know it's work now. Like it ain't going to the shows and after the air show snatching up the hoes and it ain't you know what I'm saying, fun and turn to bed and reality in the sunk and most of my little brother like, wow, we gotta go to see it. We gotta get us some money, I have family, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause I used to be on some other bro, I got you, I'm gonna send it, I'm send it, I'm send it, we straight shit. I miss my family too. I'm you know what I'm saying? Right. But a nigga learn from that shit, a nigga. Running out. Shit. That God. shit run your dry, boy. That shit drying the nigga for shit, real. It, nah, that's just what it is. It's impossible to do. It's, it's a impossible. good idea. And you know what I'm saying? It's a good idea for yeah, niggas to yeah. do just because you're a nigga with your heart, but you gotta think about it. It's still business. Yeah. You know how much money it is? You gotta pay for everybody to go. I'm sorry, they really ain't doing shit. <laughs> then for your people that's doing shit to go mm. and take care of the people, people at home. Cause yeah. they with you. Real Come talk. On. Real talk. Bankrupt. That shit get That shit, that the hammer shit. Bankrupt. Man, they baby right. mama get Bankrupt. mad at them. Oh, you boy, gay ass nigga falling up behind a nigga. Yep, I okay. just said this on another okay. podcast, bro. Oh, I need. Do I need to call Big Thirty about our bill? But I, do I need to call <laughs> <laughs> foul shit? I was talking about the real foul shit. Let a nigga looking at you crazy. Wow, God, I gotta. 
get him fought a thousand. Go pop it on the ass, let her ass know. Go see her daughter a thousand. You know what I'm saying? I've been through that several times. <laughs> Nigga, baby mama getting so foul. Like, yeah, that shit crazy. It always be a baby mama's though. It would be crazy. And the bitch plants the seed to, to make destroy a nigga turn the it. empire. But the end make a nigga start looking at you funny after a while because the bitch fuck around and hit the wrong trigger. Like, yeah. do boy ass nigga, nigga don't even fuck with you. And you can really love the nigga. Yeah. But now yeah. this nigga, now you wondering like, damn, bro been kind of off, man. You see it too, bro? I see it too. It's yeah. this bitch. Oh, God. Yeah. Whole you know what I'm saying? Up. She feeding it to my nigga. That's how it's crazy. That's how it be going, though. Oh, God. Now nah, that real life shit, though. What's the shit you think you learned like when you got in the rap game that you know like <clears throat> I dip well I, mean, I definitely can't bring this from the street to this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, like in the streets it, it's kind of, it's similar to this rap shit, cause it's all street niggas yeah. in the rap shit. But I'm just saying, like, for us, you know, I see you with some important people, so I know like yeah. you doing some important shit. Yeah. Like drop an album. Congratulations. Yeah. For sure. So I'm saying like some shit you can't use from the streets in that type of shit, if if you get what I'm saying. I mean, I just want to bring your, I want to bring no street beef into your music or, or into the industry, period, or, or even be like, if a nigga was to sign a nigga on the tour with, I had to learn, I can't be mad at that. Like, you say what if a nigga I had to what? learn, like, if a nigga was to sign a nigga I'd be in tour with or just fucking with him, for, I had to learn, I can't even be mad at that. Yeah. Instead of, man, I, man why he fucking with butter? No, I fuck with you about the sign shit we were just talking about earlier. Like, I can't be mad at this shit. Like, what's going on? Like, you saying like the mentality, basically, like you can't bring the mentality of if you fucking with a nigga, you don't fuck with me. Like from the street, you know, in the streets, it's like, but yeah. well, if you with them nigga, you fucking with them, you ducking with them. Yeah, in the streets, it, it is. You know, in the street, saying, but, but in the industry, ain't that it's it's like, it ain't that. Like in the industry, like if a nigga fuck with them, it's fuck you. You get it with them, like. Cause, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You never know, motherfucker. It depends on how you bought into them songs, the nigga dissing and One, shit. One, two, three though. records. It depends on how you acting. About this shit now. If you liking a nigga coming and he dissing me now, you with yeah, me. Yeah, but most time I don't, I don't know though, cause this is like, all right, say for instance, you know, here, and they don't sign to end. Yeah. Like, to be honest, Brad, he listens to my music and shit, but he ain't dissecting my shit. He might like some shit and come in, let's go, and I could have been yeah, yeah, going yeah. hard on the nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. He just support you 100%. For yeah. sure. Blind, yeah. Blind yeah. no matter what Blind, it is, nigga, with it. Yeah. Going on. yeah. God, God, that makes it. Shout out to the nigga head too. So shout out head. But shout out so. to my dog. Damn, yeah. but I don't know. I still feel like if I see the nigga at the gas pump, I'm gonna blow the gas station up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you got a lot of motherfuckers looking at it like that though. God, yeah, because I mean, it's like you just real shit. You never know. Like you just never know. And you nah, be sitting somewhere in heaven. <laughs> nah, you can see Waiting it on, on the nigga, nigga energy though, bro. No matter if nigga don't say nothing, you can see it on nigga energy. Which one he with? Is he with that or he with them? Mm. God. But it's be slick you... hard for me though, cause sometimes like, you know, you got these niggas who feel like they too gangster to say they fuck with you or what's up, homie. Yeah. So now it's, you know, cause I'm the type of nigga, I swear to God, I'm not kid, I ain't finna look off. Like a nigga staring at me like, I can't But that's the off. same thing is, bro, you might want to take your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so I ain't that's lo- the same I ain't thing. never losing that battle. That's like, blushing that damn near. Come on, bro. Like, I got gotta look on? away. No, bro. My, my wife be like, bro, why you? Bro, I'm just like, what's up? Oh, God. Bro, you, I don't know what to say. If you say looking something. at me, I don't, if you don't say nothing, we say we keep walking, yeah. whatever. I mean, but I can't too, just like, look away. Me in public, like, looking like. Damn, like I don't bite. Like it's okay to, to say speak, over, something and man. let me know what you on. Like, cause you staring and looking like you and just I approach every situation. But get what I what's up? Like, what's up? I'm gonna I'm gonna lead you on into whatever you on. Yeah. What's up? Like regular, what's up? What's up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come after what they on. <laughs> but you looking like oh, keep looking. Up, <laughs> it be kinda like hard, like you don't even know like fan energy or op energy when that nigga looking yeah, at you like that. I you like sometimes I it, thought I could I could figure it out. It's what you put out though. Out. I'm telling yeah. you, even a, even a hater turn into a fan because of how you came. Yeah, yeah. I had been yeah. niggas plenty of time. Like I'm gonna speak to you. What's up, player? What's up, King? You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna. That's an energy check. No matter mm-hmm. if you fuck with me or not. If you don't, yeah. don't say shit. Oh fuck you, brother. This ain't this. Okay, you just show me what it is. I ain't on yeah. there. I'm gonna keep pushing. Yeah. But it, most of the time, be niggas don't. Cause I hate when niggas say this shit, bro. This ain't no dick ride shit, bro. I just want to tell you I fuck yeah, with you. Yeah, I'm real. Bro, you ain't got to say that, bro. You just say you fuck with me, bro. bro. Oh, God. Yeah. I hate when niggas say this shit. I'm giving a nigga the energy that nigga I fuck with you before you even say you fuck with me. 
Yeah. What's but up, some King? niggas be traumatized from dealing with other pussy ass niggas. I was niggas about to say to that. To feel like that I support was about to say is that. dick riding and it's not just genuine support. I, I, I for sure don't watch. I that. for sure don't watch niggas handle niggas rough like handle like for no reason like niggas who think they yeah, got. Yeah, some niggas feel like they got a support. They do that. My handle nigga rough and hell nigga I be oh I'm fucking with you my bag up my I'm a nigga dick like off the rip. Damn, bitch. It's your supporter. <laughs> or at least I'm here to get with the handshake, keep supporting me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'ma do that every time. Yeah. I'ma say every time nigga say, but I don't watch nigga handle nigga for no reason, especially in front of a bitch. Uh, he finna perform. <laughs> he finna perform so I don't watch this shit. Even he finna do the whole show. The whole he finna shine. He finna shine. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit crazy. Like, so niggas be, niggas be shell and shook. Like, hey, this ain't that, but I fuck with you, homie. Like, yeah. type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I think no. Nah, I honestly oh, do think I'm just saying, like, bro. I be just it shit used to be different when I was in a different mind state, just looking at looking at every nigga like they was on some, right? And then I damn never can put you on some mm -hmm. because yeah. I feel like you on some. Yeah. yeah. Not not saying drop your gun. You know we still coming with peace. We are gonna right. lead with that. Right. Yeah, Anything yeah. after that, hey man, I gotta be a man. But right. I'm gonna lead with that, and I'm prepared to be a man in every situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna lead with. What's up, King? You know what I'm saying? But if you want to, you thank you. Like, I know you, like a bitch. you know what I'm saying? Or oh, whatever. Yeah. Or you, whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need to go that way, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mm. You get what I'm trying to say, scream. Yeah, no, I get it. I I'm get saying it, if you leap, but most of the time, some nigga can damn near want to be on there like. What you said? What you said? Then say? when I say what's up, nigga be like, oh no, nah, that nigga really you cool. Can, you really can cool. You can shift oh, energy God. for sure. That happened to me too. Oh God, that didn't happen to me a couple of times. I thought you were one of them mean ass, aggressive ass, green ass nigga. For what? I ain't even never even, you know what I'm saying? I never even met you. You just listen to my music and thought. They yep. go back to you saying, like, what a nigga put out there. Yeah, you know nigga, yeah, nigga grow their own perception of you. So yeah. so when they see you, it's, it's, they bring in that same perception to reality right then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from a nigga music. I swear to yep. God. I done had motherfuckers walk my crazy shit happen to me. Motherfuckers walk straight up on me, young nigga, just pull his. Pull this gun out. That boy got switch or whatever on him just because what I rap about. Like, like oh, just showing you. Just like, to show a nigga. Like, look, <laughs> I, look what I got. Brr, 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 look what I look got. Like I else. swear to God, I promise. Nigga had you fucked up. Crazy. What you mean? I'm saying, like, he could have went with his move if he had. If oh, no, nah, he'd have died. Like, oh, yeah. instantly. But I'm saying, like, I'd have seen it. I'd have seen it. Little young niggas try to, like, just show, show you they on what like, you on. I got this, I got this too. You know yeah. what I am? Mean? I'm on that young nigga. I don't even got it on me right now. You got yeah. pretty up big one. Oh, God. Boy, we somewhere far in here. You got your switch. <laughs> oh, God. This shit be crazy. Mm. The shit they had run up on a nigga, show a nigga for real. Young nigga dead serious. <laughs> But you gotta know it, 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 you know. That's what I'm saying. You gotta kinda, and I had to learn it too. You gotta kinda let niggas know, like, bro, I'm talking about this shit because niggas is doing it. I seen niggas do it, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't glorifying it. This shit ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool because we, we ain't know no better. Yeah. But we gotta try to learn. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta just put that in there, just because just so it won't be on your country. Like saying, young nigga, or go goddamn. Some shit with that switch, listening to your shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you sure. know what I'm saying? Like just straight up, like yeah. and be totally influenced. I feel like it's our duty to at least say. Oh, uh, for sure. You know, I'm, I'm I pray my heart to God, not even to just talk. I'm gonna fix a young nigga every time. I was just telling you some shit. That no, no, I ain't talking about that point. I'm just saying, like, even yeah. in the music and the message, like oh, what you saying music, now. Like, music. I feel bad. I, I start, uh, you know what I'm saying, get my circle right. Well, niggas have to push that shit. The same way. And I ain't yeah. trying to preach to you. I'm just saying, but niggas have to nah, push that you. shit the same way so niggas can have an understanding. Okay, homie probably went through that shit or seen that shit, but he know that this another way. Even if a nigga ain't all the way there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause some niggas will, uh, will sign up for some shit and just lock in like this. I'm here to do this. I ain't here to do this because I ain't got no choice. I ain't like I'm doing this shit to feed my family, or whatever. Niggas will, will take turn that shit to the to the nigga Olympics. Real talk, and you know what niggas take liking to it like this is what I wanna do. Like, I done had little bro like that. I'm asking him why. Like, little bro, you don't, I swear to God, it ain't what you want. You think it's fun. You think you wanna go out here and pick your gun up and, and my, it's not fun looking over your shoulder or you beefing with real killers. A nigga that real, they gonna get over with you. How you feel like you gonna get over with them? Yeah. But to That's them, the it like, it like, man, you just talking, nigga. You, I seen y'all, man, you just talking, nigga. Yeah. It can't be that hard, you know what I'm saying? To them, until they get deep into it, and then it's like shit. 
Yeah, yeah I know I told you, but that nigga shit. ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, take yeah. whatever come with him, but I warned you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, my real God. shit. Nah, that, yeah, oh, that's, that, that's on all us, though. We got to goddamn at least just say it, you know what I'm saying? I for like, sure I always say it. with this shit. Like, I always, like, if I see a young nigga, like, head down the wrong path, whether I know him or not, like, I don't be trying to preach to no nigga, but I, I hit a nigga with something he ain't expect me to hit him with. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. That's what I mean. Because them the niggas they, they listening to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They listening to y'all niggas, bro, for real. Like, these young niggas, they, they, really, they really listening to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if a nigga, like you said, double back and hit a nigga with something that, bro, shit, nigga doing that shit because this is where the music is. Not saying the niggas ain't, but that shit ain't, that shit come a lot. I love these people, these folks in jail. I love these folks, bro. This shit is taking like a toll, a toll on my on mental. Nigga, real talk. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, no matter what it is, nigga, I got, I, I'm speaking this shit trying to feed myself off of it because I really went through it. But right. if you mentally ready to go through this shit. It's to the point my lady, like, like, I know you miss your homeboy in jail and dead, but like, like Big 30, we need some like energy, some, but this shit that was all on my mind at the time. Like that yeah. shit, that shit fucking nigga mind up, bro. Like I'm losing yeah. real close to homeboy. You ain't never had that homeboy that you like, I, I know I'm growing old with him. Like, I can see me and me and bro kids and shit. We picking the kids up together. He down recently. Like I know bro. we finna get rich. Oh, this shit hurt. Low mind yeah. recently, bro. My, this shit bro. hurt. That shit hurt. Worst bad. feeling ever. I ain't never gave a fuck about nothing to this. Oh God, I'm just being real. I swear to God, on my baby, I know how you feel. You ain't anybody about me. Like, well, you can ask them what lost some time about. They gonna be able to tell you like what fuck me up. Like I thought my nigga Gino fucked me up, but when my nigga Nooski no, died, no, like yeah. they fucked me completely up. Like, bro, been there since the hip, like, you know what I'm saying? Since, I mean, before I even started school, I'm watching him, my big cousin, walk to school. He been there that long type shit. When I went to pre-K, he was in second grade. You know what I'm saying? Since then, since then, like, for brother to be right there by my side, like, all the way through whatever, like, the heartbreaks, shit, the whatever, life and danger, whatever, he coming. I could be out of town. Secrets. Got all them secrets All with the him. secret, everything. I could yeah. be out of town, like, man. Shit, my baby mama just had a flat man. I need to go pick my kids up. He was dead nigga too. He wasn't just, he wasn't no nigga hit man or nothing. He was my real friend, fool. I, and then like a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just took my nigga, like he gone. This shit be fucking with a nigga every day, day in, day out. I'm talking about every day. I ain't want a day since he died and I think about him at least a couple of times, talk shit. This shit fuck with my mental. I didn't know what to go holler at some motherfucker. Do I did. Real talk. I yeah, yeah, they do that shit on therapy or something. Yeah, they do that shit on Western Lane. They just tell you, but, but it's more spiritual, though, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? More on goddamn believing that a nigga still with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like that's what like nigga gotta still have them same conversations, bro. Yeah. I know that shit sound kind of kind of out there, but I'm telling you, bro, nigga gotta have the same conversation, and you know what the nigga would say back, yeah. no matter where you coming from. Real talk. Like you know this nigga, so you can have a real conversation. Like I had a real conversation with my nigga. I say certain shit. And I just lay on it. I know what he would have said. Nah, oh, B, you tripping. That. You on that Gemini shit. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? I know what the nigga would. Like, and I ain't taking it in that I'm going to let him say what I want him to say. Yeah. I'm going to say what the nigga would actually say. Well, actually say or how he actually feel. Like, a lot of shit be going on. Like, so not, that why, that's another reason why I done moved away. Because it like since he died, a lot of shit like structure had it no more. Like, and he's out of my hand. I got too much to focus on right now. And, me focusing on that uh, caused me to get in a lot of trouble type shit. Like, I can't even focus on it if I mm -hmm. want to. Like, it shit just, it's just shit I be knowing, man. He wasn't under that. Like, if he were here, that wouldn't be like that. But it wouldn't need to be around. He'd be scared to come around. Like, mm -hmm. he really, like, damn. Y'all let, you know what I'm saying? He'd be fucking a nigga up for real, fool. That shit be crazy. Trust me. God. Some people just feel like, suppose, I be feeling like, supposed to grow old with a nigga. Even didn't because they hard the type seem person real that like. Yeah, am no. I still? I be saying myself sometimes like, am I still alive too? Like, what the <laughs> fuck going on? Is this a fucking video game? This shit is not real. Where my nigga at, man? Oh God, yeah. real shit. Like this is impossible. This is never supposed to happen. Oh, God. Like I told him on one of the episodes, I said, nigga, we used to always say, goddamn, bro, what I want you to do for my wife and my kids if something happened to me. Not some if something happened to this nigga. Yeah. yeah. We both thought, shit, <laughs> I'll go go first. Real if that makes sense what I'm saying, yeah, you know what I mean? Tough. Like, or anything, because I was older. I'm thinking, like you said, we're going to grow old together, whatever, man. That shit crazy, bro. That shit like, yeah, that shit that crazy, man. But 
I get it though, but what, what, what how you how you gonna bounce back though? What you gonna do? Shit, I gotta. I mean, I, I, I'm bouncing back. I, I done done that shit. That's why mentally. Ah, uh, like shit. I don't even know, bro. That shit it's real it's shit. fucked up, ain't it, man? That shit really fucked up. Shit, I thought you turned the music, but nah, like, yeah, nah, nah. Nigga gonna do. You gonna do what you gotta do? Cause you gotta do what you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know you gotta feed they folk, but yeah, my yeah. god. Um, I'm saying like mentally, like how the fuck a nigga get that shit out their mind? I don't know. Mm. I done know when like I he died. I done know when like six months in the room, fool. In my room, with my kids, uh, as my dad, like real, real deal in my room. I, ain't, I, I was told about this shit. For me. How it shift you though, like all around. What you think your biggest noticeable shift is since 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 he passed? Man, he just made me. Man, I just know now nah, I can't go on these folks. I can't leave these folks out here. Like it shift me to that. Like I went through so many phases after he died. I like think can't sleep for it. I gotta do something. I know what he'll do. That I can't crash out of here with me. Or a nigga be sitting playing with their kid and be like, you boys, you somebody playing with your motherfucking kid. It man would be going stupid if it was you in that cast. Like, I went through phases like that. Like, I went to, I'm like, hell no, nah, this, this the devil. This the devil on nigga. I gotta get up out of here. Like, I gotta get out of Memphis before I nigga crash or go to jail. And this shit just, this shit just, Shifted a nigga like to a whole nother person to how I move, shit, how I carry myself now. Like, I don't even care myself, it's just no anything. I know anybody, I know I'm somebody. You know what I'm saying? Shit just turned. Yeah. I think, like, I don't know. It, it, it's you. I think. I think the thing is, you can't try to make sense of to understand it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one of the first things. Like, don't try to like make it logical because it ain't logical. Like you say, it's spiritual. It's all spiritual. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So don't try to apply logic to it because that shit just makes it worse. And then you just start spiraling. Your thoughts go here, there, there, mm -hmm. there, and there. I be, I be overthinking like a motherfucker too. But it's just like, how do you like? How do you explain that though? Like, I know you can't think logical or like try to make the shit make sense or whatever. But like, how? I don't know. That shit crazy. Yeah, and I I can't explain it. That's what I'm saying. That would be logical if I could explain it. You dig? Right. But that shit yeah. fucked up. I tell you that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just losing somebody you really, really care about. You know, I used to thought I was numb to death. Like, shit, that shit, shit, that life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be dying, nigga just be like, shit, bro, that shit, you know what come with this shit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nigga say some, I don't give a fuck. Nigga say some off the wall ass shit. Yeah, I'm my name. Soon as shit happened to your ass, boy, some shit you, that shit had your ass just crying for shit, like just bitching, like, man, that shit. That shit, that's what it really, you know how a nigga be thinking like he hard and been broke by this bitch or something like, you don't really care about that bitch like that. Man, mm -hmm. nah. This is a heartbreak, bro. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Like when you think about a motherfucker every day or what, like it's, it just, whatever, whatever, whatever the fuck nigga before I put my clothes on, like what this is? Hell yeah, nah, I be at them motherfuckers, that kind of gunky. You know what I'm saying? Take them off. Real talk. Just the simplest shit that you ain't even thinking about that you ain't got nobody else to call and do that to. You wouldn't even feel comfortable with trying to do that now. Mm. Real talk. Or trying to put somebody in his spot. It ain't going to gonna go. Mm. It ain't, ain't going to never be the same. Mm. It ain't going to feel right. Mm. But like I told he won't need to get no nigga call him for anything. Like you just said, like. What's so deep pants on some shit like that? You know, he real big gonna give a nigga that real ounce, yeah. but he ain't gonna send me out. He gonna tell the nigga ass straight up. Hell yeah. nah, we ain't doing nothing. Real talk. Real, talk. real shit though, man. That shit crazy, bro. I don't know, man. Big 30, what's next with Big 30, man? Man, I got these albums. Let's talk about the King, man. What we doing? <laughs> Got 17 tracks on that motherfucker. I mean, 17. Well, you know, niggas been patient. <laughs> <for this>, like, <laughs> forever. Like, niggas been waiting on this shit forever. Yeah. Like, you know that, right? I know. I know they've been waiting on me to drop. Oh, okay. I ain't finna okay. stop dropping. Now I got a lot of shit for them. I got a lot of shit for them. You got visuals too? Yeah. yeah. You promise? Plenty. I promise. 
I got plenty of shit. Because I have to do this every time, and you pinky swear to me every time. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's going to be smoke. You <laughs> just got that. Whatever this nigga talking about, he, 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 he did it. Yeah. You got that voice, bro. Like, when I first heard your shit, I was like, he did, whatever you talking about, he done did it. You know what I'm saying? You got that, like, the sound, like, it don't, you don't sound like nobody else, and that shit sound believable. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, that's a major fact in this shit. Like, cause the nigga be going crazy, but if you can't feel it, you can't feel it. You know, feel you know what I'm saying? Like, you got that shit to make a nigga, can put a nigga in a, in a state. Yeah. And, you, and that shit come with power. You know what I'm saying? Back to that same shit, that shit come with power. If you got the voice and the image and the, and the, and the credibility to put a nigga in the state, yeah, you got you got you know what I'm saying. You got tread lightly with that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying. It's a thin line. Yeah, they create a fuck around, create a coat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Niggas, I'm just saying. This is how this shit yeah. is. That music is the most influential shit ever in history. True right? story. I ain't gonna lie. I watched the like. I watched the like. Change the sit up. Like we got the rapping about the fag car, fag. Like everybody went from like. In my city, we went from like everybody used to want the Maxima at first, oh, little Maxima, oh, nine, Max. Then they went to Infinities. Man, they SRT crazy around them yeah, motherfuckers. Getting up through that. Like, them motherfuckers <laughs> like a Maxima now, a uh, SRT. Oh, yeah. oh geez, I mean, that's what they want a fag car, fag gun. They want to hit the streets. It's over with. Oh, God. Mm. My Joe's in the up. city. I just was in the city the other day. My little nigga was just tending me shit. He was just lying me this shit. I'm like, what? Who? Like them young niggas, like well, ain't so many different shit in Memphis now. That shit crazy. It's like a motherfucker just wake up, walk outside. I'm this today. Me and my six niggas, then we push. I'm this. This what going on. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about shit. Get up with us. Real talk. <laughs> oh, God, it's about seventeen of them. Oh, God. And they with all that shit. Oh, God, man. Yeah, they, they gonna die about it. They'll kill about it. Young niggas, like them young niggas, so throw it off Memphis, bro. Damn. What you think it is? There's like few in that shit. What what I think it is what that's that's like continuing it. I think it's just cause we don't got no structure. Like I be hearing about when I hear like the older motherfucker talk about back in the day how motherfucker respected they OGs and I had structure in the hood. Really, they listen. Like these young niggas don't get no fuck. If you ain't my nigga, I ain't listening to you. That's the type of mentality that nigga got. Like you ready to kill her, You don't OG. love me real talk. Well, take real something shit. from him for real. <laughs> ready to take something from him. I like, ain't no more. Ah, oh, that brother died or he been. Who threw in the hood for 20 years, man? This young nigga don't get no fuck. Fuck, bro. Dropped out. Dad. I don't even know, bro, or his dad. Like, he, he need him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they crazy, though. I want to, it, it like, to the point they, nigga, be, my nigga, we want to know how I feel to have structure, man. You know what I'm saying? I have a real OG that's not misguiding a nigga or misleading a nigga or a nigga ain't got to get out here. You think no, old, 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 old nigga just scared of the young nigga? Shit, majority of them. I ain't gonna say all of them, cause you got some old head at the shore, young nigga had two out here. <laughs> Real talk. Jeez, yeah. you got some old head at the shore, young nigga had, but you got some cow with that old head too. <laughs> Real talk. They be avoiding them. They did too much pussy ass shit. The young nigga done seen. I be telling them niggas, bro, I be like, bro, y'all can't be doing this pussy shit around these young niggas. Mm. Yeah. Y'all nigga gonna go up one day and have guns and gonna remember that pussy mm. shit you did. Mm. God. It's just what it is, it don't, it never goes away. You can never. You can never, you can never, bro, erase a nigga that seen you get hold. Oh, you can't God. erase that, bro. You can't take that back. You no can't take what. that back, bro. You got to So if it's, a nigga hate you because they can't name a time a nigga made a hoe at you. Oh, God. A nigga hate your gut because I know. But you know what, man? Come on, man. Nigga slap hell out you, bro. You told him, shut up. <laughs> nah, nigga, he ain't like right, that, bro. <laughs> nigga stole right, your bro. shit, bro. Nigga robbed you. Shut up. <laughs> he ain't like you getting that for that. That shit <laughs> fucked up <laughs> in the street. Like, the, the book don't go away. <laughs> the nigga keep that shit forever. It passed <laughs> down generation to generation. Receipts. Oh, that nigga son the hoe because his daddy got slapped out. Oh, oh wow. wow. That shit just like that. Like, oh, nigga. Oh, my mom. Huh? <laughs> oh, my mom. <laughs> Nigga exactly make you a hoe because of shit your uncle them did back in the day. <laughs> they can't wait to bring some shit up from high school. You 36. Why a nigga smack shit out you? You took off running that way. I'm glad. You been a hoe. They make you been a hoe. You hear me? We just because it happened a long time ago, they make you been a hoe. They don't mean shit. They don't mean nothing. Because we old. I'm God. You got nigga throw it off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And the truth though, man. Yeah. But then, you don't need to be, it be crazy because. 
Some of these young niggas will be feeling like a nigga stunting on them or a nigga, he getting all nah, this money, he ain't trying to get a nigga nothing. And it be niggas in the hood that ain't trying to get a nigga nothing. A bird feeding a young nigga. Get a nigga, like, go to the store for me out there, you get a nigga $20 or something. Or you really have a pound, you get a nigga half an ounce. Like, you playing with a nigga. Like, you really, <laughs> be a, like, that's what's going on in my city right now. But nigga send two niggas to the store and give him a 20? How old young niggas is? My exact why like sixteen? Like how the young whoever they feel like they can send he to the store. People be grinding. Them kids probably go to the store. They want a twenty, man. Yeah. Not no young nigga. Hey, but one thing about it though, I'm beyond Memphis and Atlanta different than hell. Like we slick still on a cheaper scale. Y'all on some expensive tax and that shit though. Where you hear me? Like, what you mean like what? Like, tax and shit. Shit high in Atlanta. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, y'all tax and shit like in my hood. Damn right, you got a little broke ass nigga over there that ready to run to the store for that $20. <laughs> yeah. You curse your ass out, nothing like The water boy curse your ass out, you hand him a $20. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, B, you get a nigga blue, you big 30, big, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, nigga, you $20. I get buddy, yeah. $5, yeah, yeah. you gonna be gone. Oh, God, $2. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, nigga make you feel like you need to pull out a blue. These young nigga got a mouthpiece out there. I heard, I heard for sure. They try to fast talk to me so fast. <laughs> God, I make you feel good about yourself all day then. Come on, throw me a blue, man. I know you got that dunk roll on you. God. <laughs> he ain't go there for you. And you don't get it to him. They gonna pop it on you. Up they bank roll. Oh, God, it's gonna be so funny, boy. <laughs> nah, real shit. It's similar, though. Memphis and Atlanta is yeah, similar. It's I used to be down there a lot. Yeah, it's similar, for sure. I don't know I love my city, though, for sure. I done been a little pause in Atlanta that really remind me of Memphis for sure. Yeah. Like 100%. You know how a nigga go somewhere and just say, oh, they remind me of back home to just yeah. start come say, but I really been in little areas like uh, uh, Atlanta where they really ain't got it over there. For yeah. sure, they fucked up. Poverty, yeah. just like Memphis for real. Yeah. Oh, God. And Memphis so small though, bro. That shit small as hell, man. Oh, God. That shit one big ass over. Yeah. Like an over can take you to everybody hood. That shit small as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah. When you grow up listening, you said who you grew up listening to? Like Gucci, got it. What I'm saying? Three C Mafia, shit like that. Who the king of Memphis? Shit, me a shot. Shit like that. It's me a shot right now. I don't know the other way to put it. <laughs> who the king before y'all were? <laughs> got it. Gotta get the got him. Gotta put it down first for any nigga in Memphis. They can't take it from him. A lot of niggas tried to like DJ Paul them did that shit, but nigga ain't do it like got it. Oh, you saying when when Gotti came, he represented like what you saw Memphis at. Yeah. Like come this through. Memphis. This nigga yeah. in Memphis. He come through. He come through real crazy. Pick up poison. He might come cutless, trend the lamb, trend another Ferrari, Fisker. Dude that was coming through all white crazy, like real dead from the slum. And real dead took it far, like made millionaires, made plenty millionaires, got something to do with plenty millionaires, like real talk. On the realist side, like, bro, got it. Like, nigga had thanks for the have a nigga like that in their corner though. Mm -hmm. For real. Oh God. Nah, that's solid. So what do you think are some of the keys to longevity? Good. Shit. I mean, having a plan with what you're gonna do in life and shit, knowing how to be bored, knowing how to stay out the mix, stay out the way and shit. I feel like a nigga last. Good yeah. answer. I fuck with that. Is anybody you ever look at like rappers that you looked up to that we use the term like fell off and you kind of like, it's like, damn, I didn't think that person would fall off. Have you ever seen somebody that you kind of like, I won't say like looked up to, but you was fucking with their music or fucking with their campaign and then they fell yeah. off and you was disappointed. You kind of study like, man, I need to make sure I don't do that so I don't get in the same space. Yeah, I got homeboy, I got motherfuckers that I know I can't even gain, but it's different type of fall off. Like some niggas fall off be just fell off rap wise. It don't mean they broke. You yeah. know what I mean? They went broke. They still got to ask the cars and all that. Yeah. And not have seen some niggas like fall all the way out. Like, <laughs> all the way out. Like, all, all levels. And reaching for it. For real. Oh, like, want it back bad. <laughs> real oh, talk. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you, think, you think that's Trust part of your mindset? <laughs> Damn right. It Falling off? Like, like, with me, when it's old with, it's old with. Yeah. Like, Stop all that trying to act like you still. It's old with. I did that. I done that. Yo, yeah. Yo, look at my accolade. I'm fucking with these trucks and houses. Fuck this shit. <laughs> when it's old with, like, I yeah, ain't yeah, just Eddie Kane, too. You like the nigga Eddie Kane. You, you see this? <laughs> nigga yeah, trying to come in. But this shit old with, Eddie. That shit old with. He doped <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit be fucked up and hard to watch. Like that shit do be, bro. Like, but I don't be. I be hating like no hater, bro. Me too, man. Me too. I be hating like, for damn, man. I don't be one to sound like no hater, yourself, like, man. Bro, I'm like, bro, just let it go. Let it like, go. When do y'all think it's time, like, to give up on your rap career? Oh uh, man, that's the biggest big facts question that we. Yeah, can we talk I'm just saying, about like, it. not you can't not, not a young nigga. I'm saying, like. Be 30 years, you still a freshman in this shit. Yeah. You about to drop your first album, right? Nah, hell no. Nah, I'm, I'm saying like, like, I think my third project. My but third I'm just project. saying like, but you going in on this one like an album, album yeah. like this, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. You dropped a couple of albums, but they were street albums, classics, but it was like introduction, like mixtapes kind of. Yeah. If you look at it for real, like niggas was getting on your shit, you going crazy, but like it's seasoned basically. So, you know, yeah. the third or the fourth album down there be like your first album for real, bro. Mm. Yeah. I like just think of all the niggas. Very few niggas hit on their first first album. But it be their third or fourth one. Real nigga. nigga shit. I feel like I set the bar high. Hell, no, I can't did. kill right. Like I made Billboard two hundred. You don't want to think in my head. You motherfucking did. head. Huh? What's that? I'm thirteen on them motherfuckers. Like I really set the bar high. The motherfucker. Oh, gee. What y'all lost my train of thought? What the fuck I was just saying? He's saying the fall, the, the, what the, uh, huh? when is the time to give when up? Time like, like nah, so, so y'all, and you're a young nigga. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about like a nigga you've been seeing in Memphis, bro. You've been doing this shit. You still ain't got paid for a show. Yeah. Like, how long should they do it? <laughs> people like that. Like, that was about, like, nigga ain't never got no feature money. Bro, you don't know no niggas like that, bro. <laughs> I know plenty of niggas like that, bro. Like, bro, am I tripping, bro? I'm talking nah, about, bro. Like, I, I ain't talking cool. about no nigga. Bro, you big thuddy. Yeah. Fuck all that. We ain't yeah. talking about no nigga that, that yeah. tenured. Yeah. And that's the word, tenured. We ain't yeah. talking about a nigga that tenured. Again, I'm trying to use words and shit. I'm different, bro. Yeah. But we ain't talking about a nigga that status. I'm talking about a nigga. Then been through that status and <laughs> No, he didn't get oh, to that he status. He never got to that status. Oh, he fought it and still tried or 35. Yeah, like he tried to catch his first break. Like <laughs> He just need them. A couple real niggas just gonna tell his ass shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Like, I don't know shit. <laughs> this shit been like, the niggas started rapping with like, I'm an LL them. Like, that when your first dream sparked the dream. And you been rapping like a good 25 years solid. <laughs> Man. And now you're 45, Damn. 46. What do you do, Thay? Too short said you don't stop rapping. You let that ain't even that crucial really. Ain't that crucial? You let this shit go. I'm telling you now. You think he making it like an excuse now, like, huh? A nigga like that making it a excuse. That's his excuse in life. Like I'm trying to be a rapper. Has anybody? Yeah. Looking at ages though, we we don't seen people go through their twenties and not pop to their thirties. We have seen that. Uh -huh. You ain't talking about the niggas. I'm talking about them niggas was getting some <laughs> type of something. About... Yeah. Like something was going. They were getting some pizza. They were probably getting booked. I'm talking about a nigga that ain't never got booked, never nothing. Hey, you talking about? You, you talking about? You talking? About, you, talking about, you, talking about, you, talking about you talking about just rap? Because you know the the, the cha cha slide nigga didn't hit to took a long time for the cha cha slide, but when he hit, he and that hit. nigga was doing something before that, bro. Ain't no way you make a cha cha slide after all that time. You don't yeah, think cha cha slide? Like even 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 um. Even what's the name? My boy, yeah. um, Trap. Gemini Twin. Trap Commander. Uh, what, what about, what about, what uh, about, I heard, I heard two, two Chain got signed late. But Two Chain was already getting money. He was, he was playing circle. He wasn't just chasing but I'll say a how, rap dream. How, you know what I'm talking about? Like a broke ass nigga talking about he's a rapper. Trying yeah. to be some, Chain was already how, getting money and doing how, all type of shit. How old was Trap Commander? You niggas already turned up. How old was Trap Commander? It shit show. What about track? He How old was he when he first? That was his first motion, the shit show, yeah, right? Yeah, no, track man been doing a little shit. And track man been having a little motion. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about <laughs> 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 Hey, you know, they, they doing they one too, bro. I'm talking about. 
Bro, I guess y'all don't get me. No, I just said what you're saying. I just said what you're saying. You saying, I mean, you know a nigga, he, he, he still rap. Like, Basically, you, you don't want to feature from my daddy, now you want to feature from me, ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you was yeah, around my daddy doing fake rap. You was on a song with oh, my daddy, man. now you on a song, try to be on a song with me. I he feel made you. no noise. These niggas like that around Memphis. Huh? No, he said, he he said, he said, he saying the nigga that been going to the open mics forever. Yes, since bro. I was in high school, and yes, I know some of bro. them. Like DJ Screen played it, bro. I want to, bro. I kind of get me a nigga. You on disc before, like, bro? I ain't doing no mixtape <laughs> on that nigga. It's like that, everybody, nobody fucking with him, but he just still got this rap dream. He should keep going. It's some truth. I told him well. I think I think he should Where keep going. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think he should keep going as long as it ain't affecting and harming. Like if it's harming your family and you can't support your family and you got this. How is it not harming your family? You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't made a dollar off rap. I'm saying he might do trucks and that's his money and he feed his family, but he want to rap on Saturday and go to the <laughs> right. I can't win this. straight. Nigga who Tell him, baby, this gonna work. Rap yeah. gonna work. This is telling this gonna work. It's been 25 years. <laughs> right. Man. Nobody said hey to his ass. That's what he said. That's what he oh, said. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said, Teddy. I get it. I get it. <laughs> nah, but it's a lot of niggas out there like that. And nah, I like, I pray for them. Nah, real, I, bro, I because too. that takes some strong mindset. Like, you really want to be the a rapper. Real, I'm not giving up. Yeah, it'd be definition of it. watch niggas make it. Like, then watch too many niggas make it. I know I'm going to get it. Like, it be niggas around the city like that still. Or some niggas had a little small, little torch or whatever, and they just won't let that go. They know they still got it. They feel like they legendary for that. Oh, yeah, that's the worst shit ever. Like, had a yeah. song like me trying to steal, like, like, I'm just trying it out. Damn, man, and that's it. Like, that's all I'm doing. I had that little one song back in the day that called a little fire. Now I'm just Mr. Try It Out 30 years later. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, buddy, that's all you go to. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir, ski, man. But you got to know. I think, not to cut you off, I think that's another thing, too. Like, when niggas, like, when niggas catch that fire and they get, like, labeled and put in that box, they don't know how to get out of that box. And yeah. then the box ends up swallowing them. Cause they be stuck in that box and they don't know how to come out, and then they start Girl, getting frustrated, and then like that frustration turns into depression because they feel like they don't know what to do, and they're falling off, and they just can't get like, back up. And then like your just, kids and shit, like that shit gotta be a fucked up feeling, like for your kids to know, like you ain't making it, like you. <laughs> Like but they got no to do something. Like your kids 17 never like me. They used to wear the shirts at one and two years old that they like 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> still ain't man. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, like I be you got mama done gave up, mind. everybody cussing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think they got a vendetta against the Against the failures, <laughs> I don't got no vendetta. I'm just telling you, but you could be doing something else. He, no, he, no, he said that. He, 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 he ain't he, trying to be funny. He's dead on. You might be, you might be missing, you might be missing your calling, chasing the rap demon. That's how I look at. That's it, it bro. You like might be getting in the way of your purpose. Great at something else. Yeah, but putting all this energy into something, bro. You ain't touch nobody yet. Yeah. Like you ain't nobody ain't following you. Like I just told yeah. the young nigga, bro, you killing it. You got a voice that you gotta really be careful with because niggas mm -hmm. follow you. Mm -hmm. somebody, nobody has gravitated to that shit you doing over here, buddy. Oh, God. Like, what are you chasing? Mm. It's a lot of people are chasing their wrong dream. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit is sickening, bro. Like I ain't gonna turn the interview into that, but man, please, y'all, man, do something else, man. <laughs> like it's seven billion rappers. Let these young niggas go crazy, man. Right, please. I agree. Oh, that nigga, get out the way. I agree. Please. Get a podcast. Nah, there's a lot of them now too. <laughs> See if that worked for you. Yeah, try bro. that, but shit. Uh, let these young niggas do the music, bro. Unless you already, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't tell no nigga about not stop their dream, but nah, I just think it's be yourself. I just think a lot of these people ain't being they self. They know deep down they not that or that, but they trying to force that. And then it be the niggas trying to push that same sound. Like you ain't trying to elevate your sound. You just <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh God.
Big 30. They say 30. You know, you're doing they say, when you drop, you're doing two. Yeah, 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 I'm doing the tour. Y'all do it. I'm trying to smash I'm trying to that. Up, I'm trying to go with this tape of the love and drop another, you know what I'm saying, another project mm-hmm. on the head. Just for like, you know, my silent fan, they read that one they, through what I went waiting. through. Yeah, they've been waiting. Yeah, for sure. So you gonna make sure they know that yeah, now, your brother really fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? That shit took a toll on your mental. Yeah. But it's still king, you back at it. Respect sure. the crown. For sure. I got to. Gotta go hard for bro. For sure. You ever thought about moves and shit? Yeah, I wanna do a move. I've been wanting to do I wanna do a move like I, since I saw ghetto stores and the boost is nice and big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to do a move like that, just I just want to do a movie or like, like my hood real dick can be a movie. Yeah, me. real shit. Swear to God, if y'all to come to my project, you're going to laugh all day. You're going to be serious, mama, but you're going to be laughing. You're going to be uh-huh. chilling and kicking. It's a real scenery, bro. Like, 25, you should just go and shoot your movie next year. Shit, I'm going to try to get the right motherfucker. I ain't trying to go to, you know, the little tube route. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all be hating on tube. Tube get money, but the tube paying nigga that. too. No, and nah. I be tube in it. They got real <laughs> movers on there, but I just said tube because them, this the only one they got them, like, Boot done that off an iPhone <laughs> movie. Done that yeah. off any camera where I look at movie. Like one of them. That's why I said tube. Yeah, I don't yeah, watch that fast. I shit on fuck tube with, though, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I be watching tube. And, but what's up, Cray? Them little bullshit that move be fast sometimes. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah shit. Like, I ain't, be good. I ain't know. Yeah. They told me some shit. And then, like, um, matter of fact, it's so crazy because I was at Meacham's house last night and we watched like four Tubi movies. Like, yeah. But it's so crazy with the Tubi shit. Like, okay, you know how they might have like an actor in one movie. When mm-hmm. the next shit starts, it's a nut, whole nother movie, but it's the one of, at least like one of the actors Similar from the, the movie before. Yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, that shit, that shit was, that shit, that shit was fire. I don't walk in the house like, I put it on one of your little bullshit ass tube move. You put it on one, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, not this one. Put it on a little low quality one, one of them little, you know, it'd be funny like. Where you, you, where you shoot a nigga with a bullet and a bullet missed the nigga, but then the ketchup pack busts <laughs> Or some shit like that, or a motherfucker fall late, or you can tell it's bad acting like You folks doing shit on YouTube and everything. Like I think, I think most of the time, me personally, like most of you, most of these rappers these days, they got the personality to be more than rappers. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine like how stupid y'all niggas be when the camera's off. Yeah. If you had the cameras up. Yeah. Niggas scared to show that side, but that's the money. I'd be scared yeah, like yeah, the type funny. of shit like me and my niggas saying laughing, I'd be like, no. You gotta edit it though. You gotta we get counseled off real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counseled yeah. off the real. <laughs> Baby, yeah. my, my nigga them penitentiary file. <laughs> they foul, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It be so funny, but I do be wishing it away. I mean, I do wish it was way I can show the world, like, like how we be kicking it for real, or like the yeah. shit we think funny for real, or how to clean it up. Oh my God, now nah, it gonna come. You gonna that be able to do so it in a couple. Fun, you know, I gotta do keep, this shit. keep doing, doing transition into that nigga you is. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, yeah. you gonna be out there and be able to do that shit because it's still gonna be the same thing. It's just gonna be now more, more. Like, um, you gonna it's gonna automatic sense of itself. Like, where you going? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Where you going in life? The shit that you chasing, the shit you about to get, the shit that you getting. Yeah, all yeah, all it is is right here. Once that shit do, all that shit just gonna start elevating. So okay, now put the cameras on us at all time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's the money, bro. All the, the niggas who getting the real money ain't doing them but being they exact them. Yeah. I'm for killing it on that streaming YouTube on shit. That streaming, I know what I was just finna say, nigga. I want to start doing. I want to like. I see how they can put, like, nigga can put like T. Gridley, Dirk, they got they hood they and shit on the RP it. shit. I want to do that bad as hell. Yeah, you know they killing, I mean? screaming and shit. I put the whole Memphis on them. You play, you play, you play the game and shit. Yeah, hey, yeah, I play PS Five. I play all this shit. But that's what they, you Call know, you know the label. That's what they pushing these niggas at through GTA. that shit too, though. Yeah. You don't want to fuck with that shit? Yeah, hey, yeah, I fuck with this shit. I just gotta know what I'm doing. Like, like a nigga told me I gotta get a PC and shit, the camera and shit set up. Nah, they, I just got. Yes, yeah, how you can stream? Yeah, I just got the PlayStation the Five. Setup. Niggas just on a talk shit, playing the game, playing the music. Uh, I think you should. That we should debut the album at playing the game. Drop that shit. Tell your people, hey man, make sure I stream, play the game when when my shit drop. Yeah. Play one of these niggas one on one or something. What you be playing? I be playing Madden, 2K, Call of Duty. Play shit. one of these niggas on the game oh, or something. Shit. Get in there, y'all do a chat. Ooh, that shit, that shit ain't never 
create more and more fans and niggas get to see a nigga raw personality Content. instead of when a nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas, niggas be have it's like a nigga, this rap shit is so crazy or this entertainment shit, not even just rap shit, just even podcast, anything. It's like niggas feel like, okay, I gotta be like this. Yeah. See, I used to be the same way, but I came up out this shit like, bro, I don't give a fuck. However I feel today, that's how that's who I am. Yo, fuck. Yeah. Counsel me, whatever y'all gonna do. This just what it is. Real talk. Oh god. Cause that's gonna where a nigga gonna be more comfortable. At. We got so much other shit going on in our mind that we have to tackle every day. I can't tackle trying to be this way for this nigga, or this way for that nigga, or this way for this camera, or this way for that. Fuck out of that. Yeah, no. Nah. Be yourself. Love me or leave me alone. Oh God, mm -hmm. that was my album. Oh, yeah. Shit, it's screaming me on them motherfucker written. Like, oh, me. Like, you got features? You got, no no features? features? I got I got K. Cobb and Fredo Bang on that. No. Okay. I yeah. just, but it's great. Oh, me written. Like, just all single from me. Just get Back to the basics. Yeah. What's your yeah. favorite one on the? Uh, I got a song on there called um, Stay Property. I feel like this is my favorite song. They help one. That motherfucker, bro. You made one? You put one on about your brother? Yeah, uh, for sure. Then I had yeah, album and since you been gone. A uh, song. It's, I don't know. It, it be like, it'll just come natural. It'll just fall out of their mind natural. How much a nigga think about them. But you gonna hear about them on that album for sure. Throughout that motherfucker a few times. What's your process of recording? Like, you just record when you feel like it, or you set your, t you know what I'm saying, set your vibe? What you do before you Man, record? it have to be, it have to be like, it gotta be vibed out. Like, I ain't never been a type that, unless I'm going through something, I got something on my chest or something. That's the only time I don't want nobody to hurt this shit, but me and the engineer, but having fun with it, like, we kicking shit again, high, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and might be drinking a little liquor, lean, whatever you chew, kicking. I listen to some more shit, some more, it, some more music and shit. Get everybody turned up in that motherfucker first, then drop a beat in there. Yeah. And then I go straight <laughs> in and I'm watching them out their reaction. Yeah. Out their reaction. That's how I do this shit every time. I gotta have a vibe. I like have my little kit. I can't, I be feeling dry without it. I can't eat, I can't do nothing without it. Like, it's a dry just putting me in the studio, you ain't get nothing out of me. You gotta. You ain't got to do something. Yeah. Real talk. What's your favorite city to work in? Oh, shit, I'm going to be honest, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm coming wherever they call me, but like, I love the whole Florida shit. I love like shit around Memphis, like St. Louis, Mississippi, Arkansas. Like, I'm talking about there. recording. My bad. I'm talking about recording, like, record, like, work, like, record your music in. Oh, shit, I like to record. Like, you get the best vibes. Like, if you I say, on God, on some G shit, not even just because we hear it, but the A, because it's like, it be more artists and shit in there. Like, it be different artists. Like, I was just at a, I was at a, we had a studio where it was all us in the motherfucker. With me, Shots, the Dirt, Bad, King Von, I'm to my everyday. We yeah, come to the we recording studio. this at? Yeah, yeah, hell first yeah. Class. Oh God, first yeah. class. First class. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Dre. But Dre. Like, we What's going, up? like, we just going in and out of studios and shit. Working and shit, get a song for him, get a song for him, you know what I'm saying? I like doing shit like that. And we can't do that in the city, right? The motherfucker ain't even come to record in the myth. And you know, yeah. I, they just feel like, I feel like they just the city, like where more rappers be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How niggas embrace, niggas embrace you in Atlanta though? Yeah, they love me in the A for sure. They love a nigga out here. Just how a nigga come, like, cause I'm putting up, like, to a nigga, I'm pulling up shit. Yeah. See what's going on. This nigga, this one nigga in now. Like, yeah. Man, come on, fool. I gotta make something out of this shit. I fuck with who I fuck with. I get it. I pull up to that hood, kick shit with him. Shit, go by my way, shit. Just to catch a little vibe and shit, cause a nigga out of town, you know. Yeah. yeah. I ain't at home. I ain't like I can get up and just go on the block type shit. Go to my hood and shit. You think you think shit shit if you was in the city you'll be making like more goddamn impulsive decision like the wrong decision if you was at home. Yeah. But what's so crazy, I feel like I make better music like if I was in if I was still in the bed of that shit and still going to yeah. the studio and Memphis, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be better cause, Cause she like, be coming fresh off a yeah, nigga so nigga. Oh yeah. God, <laughs> off a nigga, whatever. Yeah. Whatever we just did. We we'll, we'll make a song yeah. out of anything. Yeah, right you know then and there. Like So what shit, you you gotta tap more into your creative side, like Yeah. Mm. 
Gotta get more creative with it for sure. Exercise your brain. Like that shit be fresh. Nah, that shit real. That's why niggas, niggas be in the studio, niggas bring all they niggas in the hood, just let niggas talk in the studio. You know, most of these rappers, they, what they do, they bring all they niggas in there for the first two hours. Let these niggas just talk, let get high, woo woo. Soon them niggas go, soon them niggas got that shit winding down, that nigga end up rapping that. All that shit they was just talking about. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit, ain't nothing wrong with that though. Oh God. You nigga ain't touched the hood, but you know what I'm saying? They got, they, they touching it by bringing their people in there with them. Yeah. Just get, get the inspiration or whatever. They, just they touched it by proxy. And it's yeah, like, by proxy. <laughs> and like you up to date on everything, like yep. with, like everything, the new lingo, the new whatever yep. going on. Like yep. that's what a nigga want to be rapping about. Yep. That's what a motherfucker want to be reciting. Kid one of them, what he just say? Oh, but you hear that oh, shit God. on something hit. On them smooth junk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snatching <laughs> out. <laughs> Snatching out for sure. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> So would you take like, you no, know, we be uh, asking niggas about that writer shit. Would you take like a hook? Like this motherfucker came with you with a hook, like this is a hit song, would you need your verses on it? Or a bring your whole song I already wrote, which you record it and put it out? Damn right. Thank you, brother. Like, damn right. Thank like, you. I know like right, right now to this day, like I, I, I do my own shit, but I ain't turning down no, this make my job easy. A like, hit? A real hit record, a motherfucker keep coming to me. I, I won't give a damn. But shit. you know, most people be feeling like, man. I'm getting nigga all that credit and everything you want, cause I'm finna do all the shows and shit. I'm finna get features off this shit. I don't give a damn. So you speaking from a hustler mentality, I think a lot of these niggas like hip hop, like hip hop y niggas. When they feel like you supposed to write your own rhymes. I don't give a fuck. Give me that shit. That shit a bang. I'm finna though. go up. Like, what do it mean? Like if a nigga tell you, ah, oh, he got a ghostwriter riding that shit. Like, man, like. He ain't he performing out this my shit. mouth, you know what I'm saying? Shit, <laughs> me. He nah, would, buddy would've went there and said and put out that shit when it went nowhere. Like, I don't know why it's like that, but it's like that though. It can yeah. be a hit song, but if you said it's gone, if I put it out, motherfucker gonna look over it. It's just how it is though. Mm -hmm. oh, nah, but I think I feel like just to speak on what Black is talking about because we had this debate all the time. I feel like this. I feel like it's cool to have a ghostwriter, and it's cool to rap some shit that you know nothing about and all that. And you and know, that, just leave yourself See, you talking about, hold on, let me say that. Let me, let me cut you off. Cause you talking about somebody, a fake nigga. I'm saying like a nigga that study Big Thuddy and be like, bro, that's a banger for Big Thuddy. He wrote this for you. You got niggas, this is how they do they pen. They thudded, no, studied. No, shit like that is, is, is. That's still a ghostwriter though. That's what I'm saying. Like you get what I'm saying? Like a nigga, a study Jay. Okay, Jay, I'm gonna write you a hit, not from some shit. Like some lies. Yeah, that's what that's what I was talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we talking about two different things. I'm talking about a nigga yeah. who really write hits. Yeah. These niggas like it's it's niggas that write hits for these girls. All There's these girls, nothing wrong with that. All these girls yeah. that's rapping, they they these niggas bring them the it whole be song. Joy. It be mostly niggas making them girl songs. Yes, it, bro. It be niggas writing the biggest girl song. Like, yes. On God, it be niggas writing them songs. It be a, it be amazing to me. I be like, hell no, nah, but I done seen this shit go on, man. You say we go get little goddamn little John John from goddamn. East, East bubble fuck and try to turn him into Big Thuddy. No, I'm saying we gonna get Big Thud and get one of these artistic ass, writer ass nigga write with Big Thud don't even know he's supposed to write. This for yeah. you, bro, hit. Ah, yeah. right, damn. One of mines. Oh God. Yeah. Take a nigga ass out of here. That yeah. just, I'm just saying, that's how this shit going like. But you got some niggas feel like, bro, I, I can't do that. I can't take no song from another nigga. But if it, it's like it's like this, I feel like this. It's like everybody needs help to be able to tap into your creative or like your best self. Like even like whether you a rap nigga, whether you a chef with an assistant or an assistant chef, whether you a pimp with an assistant pimp, you know, anything that you're doing is somebody out there that can help you tap deeper into yourself to bring more of you out of yourself. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, I agree with that. There's nothing wrong with that oh, God. at all. That's like, that's the shit that you should be looking for, like type yes, shit. Yes, but I'm you know, we, we'll say it for another time, but you know these hip hop heads feel like you're supposed to write your own rhymes. I don't feel like, I feel like, make the best song. Michael Jackson, Donald Ross, everybody, all those folks had people coming in now. Even shit from the Monica's to the, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. seen a record when, when um, Michael Cockman wrote her that record, that uh, Steel Standing record. That shit was dope, but I'm saying, mm. they wrote that for her. Mm. Taylor made yeah. that for her life, like what she been going through. Yeah. Mm. So that's why it's believable to the people, like certain niggas can't pull out certain shit. Yeah. I think 
Yeah, I agree. But it feel a certain way that a tip, a Jeezy, a Goo, all these people, they wrote their shit. It was their experience. It just feel a certain way that they wrote it. In rap but music. Got, but you got niggas that can study your life, bro, and do some shit for you that you can't even do for yourself. And a lot of times, nigga don't need to be like me. I don't even be knowing what these four want from me. The writer probably, he a fan. He probably know what thank they you. want yeah. from a nigga. Thank you, bro. Well, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, oh, thank God. you, bro. He feeding that shit to a nigga. Because he's all the way familiar with you, and he's also outside of your a box to too. know like what needs to yeah, go Yeah, exactly, bro. Because you personalizing it. A nigga, man, I ain't nothing like having a producer or a writer to me. I wish I had one. Real talk. The get it, screen. I ain't looking to get one of them motherfuckers. Dirty salute to you. Congrats on the new project. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Definitely welcome at Big Facts anytime. Any final words for the people, the streets, the fans? My shit. Still King, the album, May 17th. <laughs> Out there at work, go get there, go scream there. Yeah. <laughs> Free shots and shit. Free shots and shit. That time. is www.bigfactspod.com. Check yeah. us out. Like, comment, subscribe, so good, share man. that Big you know Facts Network too. Salute. Salute. Salute.